Dr. Jane Katz has been a swimming instructor at John Jay College for over 50 years, and she recently won a prestigious award that places her among the ranks of top American sports figures. We thought that's a perfect time to take a look back at the career of this remarkable athlete and friend of Study with the Best. Dr. Jane Katz is the epitome of success in the world of women's sports. An internationally recognized competitive swimmer and author, Dr. Katz has dedicated over 50 years to CUNY as an aquatics instructor, educator, and mentor. She recently added one more honor to her lifetime of achievement, her induction into the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. I feel like I got pinched from, you know, heaven. It is just a wonderful culmination of life. Jane's aquatic journey can be traced back to one simple foundation, family. Raised on Manhattan's Lower East Side, the eldest of four children, Jane credits her father, who almost drowned when he was 14, for making swimming a staple in the Katz's lifestyle. It wasn't a scary experience for me like it was for him. I remember being a little cute pudgy toddler and jumping in and feeling weightless and effortless and graceful. I was that early mini mermaid. Her new relationship would later lead Jane to pioneer the sport of synchronized swimming while beginning her other lifelong relationship with CUNY. It used to be called water ballet. When I was a little girl at Pitt Street, we would do our little synchronized swimming routines, even to a piece of music called the syncopated clock that only people of uh, perhaps my genre would remember. At CCNY, where I started my uh, collegiate experience and synchronized swimming experience, I um, started a synchronized swimming club. I had two or three friends, uh, Joan, and Stacy and created a team which became the first East Coast Conference championships for girls and women. Success and water went hand in hand in Jane's universe, but it would be a much more personal tragedy that would test water's loyalty to Jane. My late husband, who I lost almost four years ago, when I lost him, it was like a meteor first coming to my heart and then a crater being there. It's taken almost four years to, to come back to myself a bit and my swimming and lifestyle. And the water has been the great healer. It's been priceless in terms of my recovery. And when I'm in the water, nobody can see my tears. I can cry to myself. I can laugh. I can reminisce with, you know, my own thoughts and it's always there for me. You don't have to make an appointment. You don't have to think, well, when am I gonna you know, be able to go because that's what I do every day. It's the same devotion that keeps Jane close to her second home. I feel like, you know, it's at CUNY. I've been able to do it here. And I'm very blessed to, to have, you know, more than half of my, uh, two thirds of my life really at CUNY. The accomplishment that you have for learning to swim is life's lessons, where if you teach uh, someone that, they learn that, and then they can do something else as well. And then we do that at John Jay College in many, many ways in our classes, community programs, even teaching children who are incarcerated um, and come to John Jay to have the experience of being in a college to learn life lessons and learn to swim. Now, Dr. Jane Katz's legacy is preserved alongside names such as Jason Lezak and Dick Steinberg at the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame in Comac, Long Island, together with two other very important people. It's a family award, although, uh, you know, it's given to an individual, and uh, I'm just, you know, so honored and pleased and proud as a Jewish woman athlete. It's because of Daddy. Coach Katz and uh, my late mother that it happened. It would not have occurred otherwise. We all have a mentor. We've heard that from other people. And in our lifetime, our family, and that's our swimming family, our, our uh, biological family, there's been one man who started fitness swimming for adults, for nothing, and has been doing that for 50 years. And that is our own parents 
our mother has passed, but our father is still with us. He's only in the 90 to 94 age group. And following in her father's flippers, this free spirit won't be hanging her bathing suit up to dry just yet. I am 68 now, and you know, it's just a number. And uh, if I could change the six to a one and say I was 18, that's the way my spirit feels, especially when I'm in the water. So it doesn't really matter. It's just a typo. <laughs>